Hi guys, Jenny Cat here. I know I haven't uploaded any of the rest of my Kentucky trip yet and I'm home now, but I promise I will soon. I've just been dealing with a whole lot of shit because we came back home on Thursday? On Thursday. And we got home, I was ready to relax, I just shoved everything in a corner and I went to get coffee in the kitchen and I ran the water so that I could wipe down the counters while I was waiting for the coffee to do its dripping thing. And I ran the water, I was waiting for the hot water, I was waiting for the hot water. The hot water never came because the heat, the hot water heater was busted. Um, so we called our insurance thing. We go through uh, American Home Shield and they're really great. You only pay a, uh, the, the, there's a monthly fee and then when you have service done there's a small fee and it covers like it's covering the water heater itself unfortunately um, okay back to the beginning ish so Carleen had her son-in-law Charlie come over and check it out and do it like a visual inspection to make sure that it was something that wasn't just really easy fix so I didn't have to shell out the money for the plumbers and he said that the pilot light pilot light was out and the reason the pilot light was out was because of a slow leak that had dripped on it apparently it's been dripping for a while because the thing that the hot water heater sits on was it's done it's completely soaked it's got dry rod in it now um yeah so then we got the plumbers to come out and they did an inspection and yeah that that hot water heater is done it was from 1982 so it's had a nice long life um unfortunately since that was installed a lot of regulations have also changed <laughs> yeah so um some pipes need pipes need to be changed and they need to be moved and uh, everything needs to be brought up to code and the thing that the hot water heater sits on needs to be replaced. And so that's going to cost us about $900. Rawr. And so in the meantime, we are without hot water. We have been without hot water three days so far. And it may be another one or two because I don't know if the hot water heater is going to come in tomorrow or if it's going to come in the next day. It, it should be Tuesday at the latest, I hope. But, uh, yeah. So, luckily, we were able to go to Myth's Bank. We bank with Golden One, and they're really awesome. It's a, a Golden One credit union. Yeah, they're awesome. And uh, we were able to get a quick, short, small loan. Uh, we got some for over the amount, of course, because... With these, with renos, any kind of reno, even if it's just replacing something, you never know what's going to pop up. You never know what's going to come up. Um, there, there's always shit that pops up. Extra things that cost cause extra money. And it was that was kind of funny. We were talking about it on the way home, about how shit keeps popping up. We keep trying to save. I got my job so that I could try and replace my car because we're currently sharing a car, which really sucks. Hi, Navi. What you doing, kitty cat? Anyway, uh, we were, yeah, we were talking about how just shit keeps popping up. We haven't been able to save anything because shit keeps popping up. And Myth comes out with, what was it you said? Shit weasels. Shit weasels. No. No, you said shit gophers. Shit gophers. You said shit gophers, but I do like shit we weasels better. I've been thinking about that because of weasel stomping day. Yeah, so shit we gophers. so first it was shit gophers, and now we're thinking shit weasels. But you know how gophers they just pop up, they pop up out of the ground, just whack a mole game. Yeah, well he think he also thought about whack a mole, but shit moles just sounds like carcinomas, carcinoma filled moles maybe. <gasps> ah, it's a kitty cat. Hi, Navi. Hi, oh, kitty cat. Aren't you gonna smile for the camera? Sweetie girl. 
<laughs> she missed us. So yeah, shit weasels. We have shit weasels. That's what we have. And they're always popping up and causing trouble. But on the upside, if nothing pops up, if we don't have any more shit weasels, we can do some other things like replace the stove or the dishwasher or the garage door or the cabinets. There's a lot. There's a lot that needs to be replaced in this house. Yeah. That's pretty. Almost nothing has ever been replaced. The fence has been replaced and the master bathroom shower has been replaced. That's it. But that's it for now. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I know I, I promise I will get the rest of the trip up and the flight home as soon as I can. And you're going to meet a really interesting dude on our flight back. Uh, his name is Riley and he plays a ukulele. So uh, I've just been lazy. I've been dealing with, well, I've been lazy when I haven't been dealing with shit weasels. Yes, I know I keep saying shit weasels. It's a cool thing. To say. I love it. I love it. It's a thing. It's going to be a thing. Something horrible, something shitty pops up in your life, and it tends to happen on a regular basis. Whenever good things come up or just whenever you least need them, you have shit weasels. It's going to be a thing. Shit weasels. Bye.